this uh, let us learn how to create a component that is diode as well as its uh, pattern okay the component you can use in uh, drawing a schematic in schematic capture and a pattern that is known as, also known as footprint will be used in PCB layout okay let us uh, launch the component editor so in this uh, as I uh, click on this okay right click on this and uh, right click right click and click on this new library okay uh, I'll name it as my uh, component okay let us say my component library and uh, we'll use it as user component and this should be selected like user pattern user component should be selected then just say ok so here I want to create a diode so give the name proper name so that it will it is easy to recognize the component diode 1 n 4 0 0 7 so for that a label can be given ok I will give it as a D then minimize this now for a diode there are two terminals so to create the terminals uh, there are uh, pins available okay pin pin line and if you want to create a rectangular pin okay so many options are there I want two terminals so I'll select this and I'll paste two pins okay so <coughs> then bring them at the center so that they are uh, 0.1 inches apart okay so what is the grid size grid size is 0 0.05 inch so that is the distance between this grid this point and this point is 0 0.05 then what is the distance from this to this it is 2 times 0 0.05 so the distance between this point and this point i want it to be 0.1 inch okay so what i'll do i'll select it and drag it okay and uh, rotate this and uh, drag this nearer to the center now this point and this point are uh, 0.1 inches apart okay then <coughs> right click on the pin to change its properties go to pin properties so electric the component type is passive so here define it is a passive and uh, length of that particular terminal that pin is 0.15 inch uh, keep this 0.15 inch and say okay uh, even you can change the uh, name here in pin properties give the name like uh, here it is name as one i'll give it as a uh, anode and number is one pin number is one and it is anode pin then say okay right click on this can go to pin properties so electric uh, property it is a passive type component then pin name can be given like cathode and the length of the pin is 0.15 inch and uh, okay say okay now we have to draw the uh, diode symbol so to draw that select this line okay then draw the diode structure So that's it uh, then save it okay 
give a proper name so that it is uh, you can recognize this and the extension should be dot eli okay so successfully you have created this uh, component diode component now let us see if it is visible in schematic see this is visible in schematic that means we have successfully created a diode component in deep trace component editor now let us create pattern for the diode So let us create a pattern for uh, uh, diode. So let's give this uh, new my pattern library and user pattern. Here it is not necessary that the name uh, like uh, whatever I am given. That should be a, a given a, you can give any name but this you have to select user pattern then say okay so now give the name of the uh, pattern diode underscore one n four zero zero seven so that it is you can re recognize this <coughs> and minimize this okay for diode how many terminals we are having two terminals that's why there are uh, to connect those terminals you need pads so select uh, uh, to create pad here we are having option place pad place pad line and uh, for rectangle place rectangle pad like that okay select this keep on pad uh, then you need another pad for another terminal Okay, the distance between two pad should be 0.4 inches. Let us measure that. How to measure the distance? So click on this place dimension and select any one. So 0.4. So 0.4 is at this point. Select this. <coughs> so now from this point to this point, if what is the distance? Uh, so from origin, it is 0 0.2 inches away and this is 0 0.2 inches away. <coughs> You can even change the pad properties. So right click on the pad, go to pad properties. Okay. So click on this type dimension. Uncheck this. <coughs> then, uh, so you can keep this in uh, mm. Uh, like uh, pad diameter I'll get uh, 0.5 mm and uh, width and height of the pad is 1.5 mm then uh, say ok ok so this for this I have changed and uh, go to again pad properties so it is 0.5 uh, even I can change the uh, shape of the pad let us say it is a rectangle we we'll make it as a rectangle uh, okay so whole type is round inside rectangle you will get a round shape uh, hole for the drilling purpose and give ok so as you can see uh, this has been changed now the next step is to place a 
uh, silk screen okay to place a silk screen uh, before that uh, change the unit again to the inches okay then here we have grid size selected we have selected as it is a 0 0.05 inch change this to 0 0.025 so that you'll be able to place a uh, silk screen uh, this will come on the component side so let us uh, place uh, silk screen So this is my silk screen which will be printed on the component side so that it is useful for placing the components or mounting the components. Just uh, save this uh, with a proper name so that we can recognize that. Okay, now you have successfully created the uh, pattern for the diode. Now the next step is to attach the component and uh, this for this component, see you are not getting the pattern. So it is saying uh, here no pattern, no pattern. So that pattern we will get once you attach the pattern, whatever you have created just now. To do that, uh, go to uh, component and uh, here the attach pattern is there click on it okay so you have a component but no pattern is attached so that's why it is giving no pattern let us attach the pattern so in the it is a user pattern we have created it that's why select user pattern and go to my pattern library there is a pattern for that okay once you select this it will be visible for you people then uh, see even uh, pin is matched which pin has to be connected to which uh, component pattern so pin will be mapped so you can see pin will be mapped properly okay next just say okay so now pattern is attached and save this okay now click on this you will get a pattern so pattern is there so that's why uh, you have attached a pattern and it is giving now pattern this should be visible visible in your pcb layout let us check if it is uh, visible in a pcb pattern or schematic so this is a pcb layout see pattern is visible this is the pattern we have created okay and uh, in a schematic you will get see once you click you will get even the component and a pattern related pattern to it so previously it was not given pattern because you have attached both component and pattern now both the things are available so that means you have successfully created the pattern uh, and a component so uh, hope this helps uh, for doing a pattern and a component. Thank you.